How's it going everyone? It's Ben Foggins, Media Corner back again with a brand new video for today. Welcome back to another movie review, aka After I Saw. This time for this new episode for the series is going to be my review on the 2023 supernatural horror film, and that is It Lives Inside. This is the directorial debut of Michelle Dutta, who also wrote this film. And in this film, an Indian American teenager who's struggling with her cultural identity has a falling out with her former best friend. And in the process, she un unwittingly releases a demonic entity that grows stronger by feeding on her loneliness. So that's pretty much the story of It Lives Inside. Now I did check out the trailer for this movie around the time when this was coming out in my area and I found it to be pretty interesting although um, I had like little to know what this whole movie was about as well as like what type of horror film this was because I didn't even know what kind of horror film this was until I heard a few people talking about this movie and they were saying it was like some kind of like old folk horror film as well as being sort of like a creature feature as well in which I tend to enjoy those types of horror movies quite a bit. And um, I did check out this movie a couple of days after it was released in my area, which it came out the same day as uh, Killers of the Flower Moon did, in which I saw that film first. And so I saw this film just a couple of days after it was released. And so um, after watching this whole movie here, I actually found this movie to be an overall an, an interesting watch here. And since this, the, since this is the director's uh, very first film here that she's made as a director, I found it to be an overall a really strong start here for this director here. The concept I did feel was pretty similar, where it's kind of a bit like It Follows, but it does tend to have some differences here and there, in which in this film it involves a creature that gets released from a jaw and it terrorizes the main lead in the movie. And the storytelling for the film I kind of felt was a bit muddling, but yet at times confusing. And it was kind of hard for me to like put everything together and all that. And it's definitely one of the few films that definitely needs like multiple rewatches to make you fully understand what's going on here within this movie. And I kind of felt the film just flew by flew by very quickly here due to its pacing because the pacing for the film I thought was really fast here because the film's only on for an hour and 39 minutes, which is a pretty acceptable runtime here for this um, horror flick here. And I kind of felt the film just got straight to the point once the film starts already and all of that as well. And the acting for the most part in the film I thought was overall pretty strong here yeah, from Megan Story who plays the main lead which she was pretty strong in the film. And even the actress who plays like her former best friend in the film she was also pretty strong as well and everyone else they were all pretty strong for the most part here. Yeah. And as for um, the direction by Michelle Dutta who made this film she did a solid job directing this film when it comes to the amount of creepiness that the, that the film provides here and there. And even the kills in the film I thought were pretty disturbing but they're not like insanely like bloody violent or anything because this is not like a, a violent like r-rated horror film because this is a pg-13 horror flick yeah but um all in all um it lives inside i overall had a pretty solid time yeah with this some um, horror flick here yeah. and like i said this is definitely a solid st solid start here yeah, for this um director here yeah, for making a very first film as a director here yeah. and if you do tend to enjoy like these types of horror films here yeah, i would say this would definitely be a good popcorn treat for yourselves here yeah. so that's pretty much all i have to say about it lives inside i'm gonna give it lives inside Three and a half out of five. Well, despite having a few flaws here and there, I overall found this film, like I said, to be an overall an interesting watch here, and I cannot wait to see what um, this director will do next in the future here as a filmmaker here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If my AK for a saw you on It Lives Inside, and let me know what you think of this movie if you have seen this already, or if you just recently check this out. Did you really enjoy this one, or was this not your popcorn treat? As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and this has been Foggins Media Corner signing off.